Item number, SCP-810. Object class, Euclid. Special containment procedures. SCP-810 is to be kept in a transparent container and should be kept under video surveillance at all times. During experimentation, it is only to be handled by Class D personnel or while wearing gloves. After any experiment is concluded, any Class D personnel who may own the SCP are to be terminated. Description Object appears to be a standard oil lamp dating back some one to two thousand years. No biological material has been observed on the SCP, and the circumstances of its recovery make exact dating impractical. When touched by a human, an inscription appears in Aramaic. It reads, roughly, ask what you will, and you shall never want for it. If the SCP is firmly grasped by a human for at least 30 seconds, the inscription will change to the holder's native language. This change is physical and has been recorded. If the holder of the object expresses any of their desires verbally, the SCP will vibrate briefly. The holder must, on some level, genuinely want what they wish for. The holder will, from then on, have no desire for what they wished for. This would appear to include overriding basic instinctual needs. Once a person has been granted a wish by the SCP, it has no effect on them for at least four years. Longest recorded time between a previously affected person being affected and touching the SCP again. If a person touches SCP-810 and does not express a desire while touching it, the SCP will attune to that person. The SCP will, when unobserved, disappear and reappear in the possession of whoever it has attuned to, hereafter referred to as the owner. Although it will always appear amongst personal possessions of the owner, the SCP will never appear under direct observation. If all possessions of the owner are being monitored, the SCP will disappear and not reappear until either the owner dies or some personal possessions of the owner are unobserved. In the former case, the SCP will materialize in whatever unmonitored location is closest to its original vanishing point. Each time the owner observes the SCP, they will momentarily stiffen. Observation shows that the owner will, over time, become more and more accustomed to the SCP, regardless of whether or not they have seen it and eventually will begin carrying it with them, usually after four to five months of owning the item. Once they begin carrying the item, the owner will usually forget its presence and express a desire while holding it. At this point, they cease owning the SCP and will usually forget about it completely. If SCP-810 is attuned to multiple people, then whoever is currently closest to the SCP is considered the owner. Addendum SCP-810-1 This SCP was recovered in a small Indian village after reports of the village being terrorized by a haunted lamp. During its retrieval, Agent M was affected by the SCP, having expressed a desire for sleep while holding it. Agent M died two weeks later due to sleep deprivation. Further, Agent M became the owner of the item shortly thereafter, leading to confusion for approximately a month before the unexpected death of Agent in incident permitted further testing. Addendum SCP-810-2 Interviews with Class D personnel involved in experiments with SCP-810 have shown that the person involved will frequently be surprised by the change in their own psyche. Standard psychiatric techniques have proven ineffective at reversing the effects of SCP-810, and administration of Class A amnestics have not readjusted subjects' psyches, although subjects have expressed confusion at their adjustment. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-809, Combat Boots, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.